Well, this in my series of how to cook fish in a very simple way, quite an important part, I think, is making fish stock because you really don't want to throw away fish bones. I just hate waste. And I don't particularly like throwing away the bones of a fish like this, which is lemon sole. All white fish makes great stock, and I mean by that cods or hake or haddock or bass or John Dory or bream. The only fish that doesn't really make good stock are very oily fish like salmon or mackerel or herring. There's too much oil in them. First of all, I've got a big pan and I've got some nice vegetables. Now, it's not, I'm not totally sort of strict on what vegetables to use in the stock, but I always like something like celery or fennel bulb because that's got lots of flavour. And what I'm going to do with all these vegetables is chop them up quite small. And the reason for that, I'm just going to sling those in the pot now. The reason for that is that this stock only takes about half an hour to cook. So, um, and the reason that you don't want it to cook any longer is that actually the fish bones, if you cook them for too long, give you a slightly sort of gluey taste. So it's a very, very quick stock to make. Then carrots, and notice I haven't bothered to peel the carrots. It's not necessary because it's, everything's gonna just be thrown away. So we'll just uh, chop those up. Same with the onion. Just do a sort of rough chop like that. There we go. In goes the onion and some herbs. Oh, a bit, there's a bit of garlic there as well. And you know, you don't need to sort of, if you've got some leeks, fine to go in there. Mushrooms are very nice in there. Anything that doesn't, you wouldn't want to put beetroot in there because it'd make your stock go red, but anything that you want to put in there virtually can. So I've got some parsley stalks and a bit of thyme, a bit of chives in there as well. Now then, I'm just going to now find a bit of butter somewhere in my kitchen. Butter, where art thou? Oh, I'll have to use some of this spreadable butter. There's not like butter in it, but anyway. Not too much butter, and I definitely don't want to cook these vegetables with, with, a, um, with any colour, because the good thing about fish stock is it just needs to be, um, I suppose you've got like, I don't know, 60, 70 grams. So we'll just let that butter melt, melt a bit. I'm just gonna add the fish bones, just chop them up a little bit. One of the real reasons for um, using the fish bones is you get the heads. It's funny, I was just only ye yesterday, a guy delivering from Amazon or somewhere came to the door and he was Greek. He just said, you've got really nice fish here. What, what's wrong with the heads? Everybody throws their heads away. And it is extraordinary because if you're gonna make fish stock, you must have the heads in there. There's so much flavor in them. So I'm just gonna let that sort of sweat away for a little bit. And what I quite like in a fish stock, and some people do, some people don't, is a bit of white wine as well. It just gives it a nice, um, a nice astringency. So about, I don't know, finish the bottle. There we go. Just let that boil down a little bit. I do add, like to add a little bit of salt. You don't want to put too much salt in the stock because you're going to reduce it right down. But I don't know, it gives me some sort of sense of security, the salt in there, because it just brings the flavour up. Just like leave that to sweat away for a little bit. And that's just about it, of course, apart from the obvious thing is the water. I think a bit of pepper would be good too. So there will be a few grains of pepper in there. I was going to get peppercorns. I've got some bay leaves. There we go. Quite a lot of bay leaves. There we go. Put those back in there. I knew they were there somewhere. How much water to put in? Well, enough water to sort of um, cover all the bones and the vegetables. I would say it's probably about a litre and a half, something like that. So that's fine, the final stir. And um, we're now gonna bring that to the boil and simmer for 20 minutes. So, by 20 minutes is up. So now I'm just gonna strain my um, my stock off through a fine sieve. Smelling absolutely lovely. I mean, to think, how would anybody commit the sin of throwing away a fish, a fr fish frame, as they call it, like that? And there's so much flavor there. So I'm just putting this back on the heat. This is a fish stock, and that'll keep in the, in the fridge for about three to five days, but I'm now going to reduce it down by half 
to what the French call a, a fish fumé, a fumé de poisson, which is like, obviously, if you can reduce it by half, double the strength. And in a later programme, I'm just going to show you how to make a very, very simple fish dish with a couple of fillets of hake and this fish fumé and just some butter and a, a couple of herbs. And it just makes the most lovely sauce. <laughs>